Good afternoon, everyone. Just wanted to invite you out to Trinity Baptist Church this evening as we have our prayer meeting and midweek Bible study. Uh, this evening, we're going to be looking at Acts chapter 1 and really focusing on verse 14, but we're going to look at all the context until that point um, and see what the Lord shows us uh, from just another example in Scripture of prayer. That's kind of what we've been doing. We've been looking at prayer through the Bible, not setting up a, a paradigm or a template, if you would, to this is how you pray, but instead it's been a study of examples of prayer um, throughout Scripture. It's, it's, my attempt to been go through every book of the Bible. There are some books in the Old Testament, for instance, that didn't have any example that I went through. But uh, nonetheless, we're looking at individuals who have prayed to God throughout Scripture. We're in the book of Acts, like I said, uh, and it'll be our only time here. We hit one book a service, so each week going through a new book. But saying all that, tonight we're looking at Acts chapter 1, and verse 14 in particular, but we're going to basically be going through 1 through 14. And in that, we see the new church, the church as it's being started. And we get back a little bit of history. As we know, the book of Acts is, is a historical book, um, and we're looking at the account of the early church. At this time, specifically the 11 uh, disciples who are apostles, and uh, there are some other individuals like Mary, Jesus' mother, and his brethren, and then as well as some women that were involved in Jesus' ministry. But it's interesting to see, uh, and I'm not going to get into too much detail because you have to be here tonight, but to see the absolute need that these people had to be in prayer, to devote themselves to prayer. Yes, they were looking at a specific thing that the Lord had promised, the receiving of the Holy Spirit, to do the work of the ministry that had been given to them, to do uh, uh, to be the apostles for the church and, and to go out and be his witnesses. But what is that? How does that come into our lives today? Again, the importance here is to see what it meant to these individuals as the book was written about. But also we look at our own lives and see how that uh, and take how that is applicable to us. Um, but come out this evening. Love to see you out here. Church family, it'd be good to get together during the week uh, and see just another example of the desperate need that we have to be praying together. Uh, this is really not a suggestion. It is a, uh, a an exhortation to be together in prayer. So we'll see you this evening at 7 o'clock at Trinity Baptist Church.